Today we're going to be looking at our fourth devotion in this series of Building Dynamic Faith. And today I want to talk to you for just a moment about trust. Trust, and not just trust, but trusting the timing of God. See, the first three that we've studied already, focus, attitude, and inspiration, they get you ready. But until you step out on trust, then you do not really have the full faith that we need to do the things that God has called His church to do. Trust is the key to dynamic faith and particularly the timing of God. Trusting the timing of God is so vitally important. Listen to Psalm 62 and verse 8 this morning. Trust in Him at all times, you people. Pour out your heart before Him, for God is a refuge for us. And in Psalm 27 verse 14, very Very important verse. For the verse says, Wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. See, we need to understand this about God's timing. God isn't just building your faith through the issue that you are praying for right now. But he is also creating an opportunity for your situation to impact someone else's situation. And that may take time. Do you remember when Paul wanted to preach in other places like Bithynia and Troas? But God desired for him to be in Macedonia. Because there he would encounter a woman named Lydia who would not only be saved through his ministry but would also be a very vital part of his ministry. So just because you want something right now doesn't mean that you're ready for it right now. Perhaps the Lord needs to teach you some things first. There are steps that are ordered by the Lord, and if we get them out of order, the effects could hinder us instead of advancing our faith. We are a people and we live in a generation where we do want things right now. But maybe God is speaking to someone today and saying the thing that you want, it's coming. It's already been bought and paid for and it is on the way. But until you're ready for it, God won't deliver it. So, There's an old saying that I love that says, Bloom where you're planted. You may want something else, but don't miss what's going on right now. Because moment by moment, decisions by decisions, day by day, God is building you and growing you for the very thing that you desire. And who knows but God that Even the trials that you are going through right now are building the answer that you're actually praying for. So don't mess the timing of God. Don't miss it because it's very vital in building your faith. So today let us pray that God would grant us the wisdom to recognize His voice That voice that either tells us to wait or tells us to proceed. I don't want to get one step ahead of God. I would rather my Lord be telling me to catch up to Him rather than to tell me to stop out trying to outrun Him. I want to walk with the Lord. I don't want to tell the Lord how to walk with me. And so when we do that, little by little, what God is doing is building our faith. So you have a great and wonderful day today. You be safe, you be strong, you be blessed. You take a little time to not only spend a little time with Jesus, 
but spend a little time with those you love. Life is fleeting. Life is fragile. And time gets away before we know it. So, spend your morning moments with Jesus every day that you can, for He's trying to build a better faith in you. Lord's will, we'll see you back here tomorrow and wrap up our week-long devotions of building dynamic faith. Until then, you have a great day.